Hello, White Metrilism, and welcome to three settings you need to change in Crusader Kings 3. Now, Crusader Kings 3 is a fantastic game, and I'm having a lot of fun with it. But there are a few settings, especially with the user interface, that make it kind of annoying. But you can easily change those. Number one is, unfortunately, the pop-ups. Because Crusader Kings 3, like all Paradox games, is a very complicated game, and it explains a lot of stuff with these mouse over texts and you can mouse over some of these highlighted words and then you'll get a pop-up which tells you all about it but then that pop-up might also have links in it which you're like oh i want to click that link and by default you'll try and like go to the link and you'll be like where, where did the pop-up go where, where did the pop-up go and then you'll keep doing that and it will be incredibly frustrating now maybe you don't find this as frustrating as i did but when i first started playing crusader kings 3 i really hated this but there is an easy fix so, unfortunately, by default, it's set to timer lock, which means that when you mouse over this link, you need to wait for a timer, which by default is set to 1.5 seconds, to fill up. And if you actually look at the pop-up, you can see the pop-up slowly filling up with a slight color on the screen. And then once that's full, the edge goes a certain color, and you can see it locks in, and then you can mouse over that, and then you can pick another link in there, and then wait another 1.5 seconds. And then another one, you can wait another 1.5 seconds. And it can just be just a little bit annoying having to wait for the pop-up to lock in place before waiting for the next pop-up to lock in place. So my first tip is to change this to either of the other two settings, which is action lock or mouse tendency. Now to do this, you just go escape, settings, game, and then you'll see this whole section called tooltips, which suggests to me that they actually knew that the tooltips were a problem. Then you can go to your tooltip mode and change that from timer lock to action lock or mouse tendency now action lock is the one that i personally use which means that when you go to a link and the pop-up appears you just middle mouse click on the link and that will lock that box on the screen so then you can mouse over that box and then say oh i want to learn more about this thing and then middle mouse click on that and it'll be locked and then you can go into the box basically it allows you to just do it at will so you don't have to wait for the game to fill up a box uh, the other option of course is mouse tendency now mouse tendency is basically hey we're going to lock everything in place if we think your mouse is going to stay there. Now, the slight downside about this is it does wait a fraction of a second before it locks the box in place. And that can be kind of annoying because you'll be mousing over the screen and then you'll have to like mouse over the link and wait for the link to appear. And then, great. And then you can adjust this with settings though. So my next tip with settings is actually kind of a cheat. It's kind of the same thing is that you can use timer lock, but you can play around with the settings, the tooltip delay, the lock delay, the unlock delay, and the locked open delay. You can play around with these as much as you want. And you can say, hey, let's change that 1.5 seconds down to 0.25 seconds or hey, 0.1 second. And that way you can just have it fill up, fill up, fill up. But personally, I think that the timer lock with this whole gradient that kind of fills up is kind of annoying. My third tip is that if you go to all your decisions, you'll notice that you've got a whole load of stuff that you probably want to use quite often, like your call a feast, go on a hunt, stuff like that. Now, these can only be done every so often, every certain number of years. And if you don't check frequently, you might say, forget, miss a year where you could have been calling a feast or going on a hunt that you really want to do. And a lot of these things, when you get to a certain point in the game where you've got enough money, you want to be basically firing them off as soon as possible. Like, you want your regular feast to make everyone happy and eat all the food. Uh, you want your regular hunts to go shoot your relatives in the back with a bow or whatever happens. But there's a really easy saying. You might see it right down below on the box. When you go to your decision, right down below, it'll say notify me when it's available. And that just means that it'll appear in the outline at the top of the screen as one of your, hey, notification, you can go on a feast or go, go to a hunt. All of those things. It's a really obvious one, and it's one that I think that pretty much I always turn on my default when I start a new game. I just go through all my decisions to say, hey, notify me when this is available, because I kind of want to be using them pretty much all the time. So I would totally recommend just going through your decisions and making them available. Now, my bonus tip isn't so much a setting to change, so much as just a tip with the UI. One of the downsides about Crusader Kings 3 is that it's kind of crowded. If you have some of these pop-ups telling you about an event, you can skip past them just by right-clicking on them. Now, it doesn't work for all pop-ups and events at the top of the screen. For some reason, some of them it doesn't. You can't skip past and you have to just wait there before you can get to a thing. 
But for most of them, sometimes you'll be doing stuff and you'll be like about to click on something at the top of the screen and this pop-up will appear in your face a little bit obnoxiously. And a tip that I would have found useful when I started playing is that you can just right click to just dismiss them as you need. And that's just my, you know, three top tips and I guess my bonus tip. Uh, they're kind of very short. I kind of want to keep this video just to like a, hey, the mouse lock thing is terrible. It's just bad. I hate it. I hate it so much. Change it. Everyone should change that by default. I, if you actually like the timer lock default, let me know down below. Because as far as I'm aware, I, I don't know anyone who did. No, none of the YouTubers I've talked to like that default setting. Everyone changed it as soon as they realized. Um, so let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about the settings down below. I'm actually interested because I'm kind of like a, a UI guy. I like my UI to work. And I love Crusader Kings 3, but there are some of the bits of UI I'm just like, no, no. So I don't know if that's just me or whether that's other people as well. So do let me know down below in the comments section. Also, uh, do like and subscribe and comment and let me know what you're, you know, enjoying about the UI. Dis, dis, disenjoying? Disenjoying. It's the word now. Disenjoying about the UI. And uh, this has been a short video just to just to give you my top tip there. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Andrew Lazim and stay shiny.